owning Bitcoin, though. Talk to us a little bit more about that uh, as a hedge against 40 year high inflation. You are still maintaining it is better than gold, even better than owning real estate. Yeah, Bitcoin is two things. First of all, it's a non-sovereign store of value asset. So it's it's like a digital goal, but you can't make any more of it. But it's also an open monetary network. So I can move a billion dollars from here to Tokyo and back again every hour. And I can't do that with gold. And so that makes it very interesting to big tech investors. So uh, we actually think in a world where it's very difficult to move physical things around, it's hard to ship things on container ships or fly them around in airplanes and supply chains are snarled. In that world, what you'd like is a pure block of digital energy that moves on a, on a digital or a big tech network at the speed of light. And so Bitcoin kind of represents the best of both worlds. It's an, it's an inflation hedge because you can't make any more of it and it's a store of value. But it's also uh, a, a big tech dominant digital network like Google or like Apple or like Facebook. And of course, those have done very well in the past decade. The industry is maturing right now. And uh, as it matures, you, you can already see right now the volatility is decreasing year by year and quarter by quarter in this asset.